Now, boy friends, there's a lot of talk on my channel about, yeah, you, you're lucky you can hit the ball that far, and I, you know, you're lucky the par fives are that short, or whatever the case may be. Everyone thinks, everyone thinks they're very unique, but we're all the same. We all have some problem, okay? So whether you hit the ball 300, whether you hit the ball 200 off the tee, it doesn't really matter. The way of the player dictates, we work back from the green. So I wanted to leave myself some kind of wedge in here. I didn't want to go too far, so I hit the five iron instead of the four iron. I probably got about 120 in. Now to me, that sounds like a great 54 degree downwind down the, down the, the slope. It, might, it may change, but I wanted to set up a wedge. Now, if you can't set up the clubs you like to hit, you need to play a different tee. Nothing. If you're playing from the correct tees, which the way of the player dictates you should, then you can work back from the hole to your approach shot. So you want to hit it with your most comfortable club, and that will dictate what you hit off the tee. So I hit a five iron to set up the wedge. This is how I like to play golf. Okay, it's 136. Going with a pitching wedge, not quite the 54 degree, but it's a wedge. Just what I wanted. It's coming off the slope there. I hit it up to the right because I could see there's a big slope up there. It eliminates the water. And I wasn't so sure about this club's distance. So better be safe, hit it into a slope that stops the ball, then mooring it with a draw way over the pin to never, never land. So I eliminated the whole left side of the hole where the water is, no chance of going in there. I used the slope and I got a putt for Birdski. Now I'm saying, The way I see the way of the player, boys, is that it's a recovery for victims, okay? Victimhood is the thing that will kill you. It will be the thing that makes you have no friends. You won't enjoy anything in life because everything is against you. Everybody has it easier. This is not a system for whiners and losers. This is a system who, for people who want to be winners. So, if you follow this system, you have to commit to it. You can't doubt it. If you want to doubt it, continue playing the way you are i don't mind i'm not preaching to the people who don't want to be converted this is to people who want to have fun golf is fun if you don't think golf is fun if you say golf is so hard and that guy's got it easier because he's got a natural swing he's rich he can his mommy and daddy pay for everything shut up okay get the ball in the hole in as few strokes as possible how you do it is up to you but do it with a smile on your face and enjoy this. Look at that. Huh? Look at that. Boyfriends and girlfriends, you will encounter naysayers. You will encounter the forum pros, such as that guy over at I don't know what it's called, one of these crap forums. They know everything. They know everything. They say, this doesn't work. They say conservative golf is not fun. You should blah, 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 blah. Listen, I play like this. It's fun. Didi plays like this. He's fun. The guys you see smashing driver OB, losing five, six balls around, that's not fun. I don't care who you are. One drive, 320 yards, and a score of 99, or four iron off every tee and a score of 80, 85. I know what you'll take. You don't even tell me. You wouldn't. And always remember, boys, planting feathers, growing birdies. Boyfriend's quite happy with my decision. Short right, okay? If you go long, there's a fence there, you OB, Oscar Bravo. And if you go over the pin, from that angle, I would not hold the green, and then I'd be in the shizer. Here, I've got a pitch, 
Get it on the green, we can always make a putt. <clears throat> with the ground being firm and with a big slope from the left, I'm thinking of the nine iron, bumping it into the base of the slope, letting it roll up and then to letting the green down slope take it down to the hole. This is how to be a bouse. Let's see, I don't really play these shots much anymore. Not a problem, let's make a putt. Players, I'm in Clarence. It's the middle of the cherry festival, or cherry season. We've just got a box of cherries waiting at the guest house. Honestly, what is there to be unhappy about, yeah? Beautiful scenery after this. Whatever happens here, yeah? bogey, double, par, whatever. I'm going home, I'm gonna eat some bloody cherries. Have a cherry beer. What a life. trees that can't reach 250 meters six iron with a little draw wedge in work back from the hole like a bouse not the best strike but we've got an approach we're in the fairway sometimes the ball goes toward the hole you don't hit it so good, don't get upset. I see a lot of people, oh, just hit the ball, shut up, hit the ball, stop making a scene, okay? You are not Tiger, you don't practice eight hours a day, you don't hit a thousand balls a week. Chill, bro, chill. Now, how do we stop being so angry, boys? How do we become stress-free players? Number one, what the hell is your purpose for playing golf? Is it fun? Is it socializing? Is it to become a pro or to be a, the best amateur you can be? Whatever it is, your actions have to match your intention. If your actions do not match your intention, you go nuts. This is a fact. Anyone with enough cognitive dissonance in their brain will go nuts. You know the ones. When your actions and your intentions do not match, you're screwed. So if you, if you come to golf to play, to have fun, have fun. When you hit a bad shot, laugh it off. Don't care. But you can't come here to have fun, play a bad shot, and then spoil the rest of your round, as well as everyone else's round, with your temper tantrums. If you come here to be tense, and to be stressed, and screw everyone else's day up, I only have one bit of advice for you, and that's to stay at home. If you're gonna be the best amateur you can be, have you practiced? Have you been to the range? Have you practiced your short game? Have you done what your intention tells you to do? If you haven't, you cannot expect the outcome that you expect. So temper your expectations based on the actions that have led toward your intention. If they do not match up, make them match up or quit the game. Because that's when you do quit, is when you don't match up your intention and your action. Okay, this has been a public service announcement from Golf Sidekick here in beautiful Clarence. Thank you. 118 meters, five degrees, playing 128. Thank you, Inesis. 128, what are we gonna do from 128? I don't really trust the pitching wedge from that distance. Bit of wind with me. Let's do the 54, let's see what happens. See, if we short, we're gonna, we're gonna trickle down the hill again and that's embarrassing. So let's go longish. Let's hit a nice committed pitching wedge. See, I might even try shape this one with a fade because these are quite workable with the Project X 6.5 shaft. Srixen 945 full blades. Someone put a South African stick on here. Not exactly classy, but you know, we take what we can get. Okay, 
I lost sight of where the pin was. I thought there was better than it was, but I set it up left. I knew there's more green there. A aimed for the fade. F little fade came. I think I'm back, back left edge. That's cool, baby. I do fix my pitch marks in case you're wondering how can you not with this beautiful piece of machinery one why spend it being tense okay I see a bunker in front I see a bunker to the right the winds off the left going toward those bunkers there's a big entrance on the left as far as I can see a nice six iron solid one there's a little backstop over there so if it goes long it might roll back down if not we'll have an up and down so I say we go left edge of that bunker Hope the wind will bring it in with a six iron. And let's commit to that. And whatever happens, happens. You're gonna go home, scratch the dog, kiss the wife, play with the kids, have a little barbie, put a prawn on the barbie, mate, to be sure. on the green but it exactly on the line I wanted the wind brought it in a bit <laughs> what a life players what a life take a leaf out of Dee Dee's book don't worry be happy Okay, players, it's 1.33. I'm abandoning the way of the player because, of course, when you get interrupted and you lose your train of thought. So I hit driver like badly into the rough, should have hit the iron, hit a shuri, five iron to here, got 133 left, 
Going to try and get the pitching wedge out of here. The pin's over the right edge of the bunker. Let's try save something here. Stupid hole.